Hi, it's Mike Stevenson. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we would run um, the test to test my logic app locally. Um, and here, so the, the difference between testing and Azure, we saw in the last video how um, we had this this logic app running um, in, a, in a Azure and we could um, have some C sharp code that would test it. This time, we're going to um, have a logic app. It's the same logic app, so we're going to use the the echo one but we're going to look at the unit test project this time and uh, if we have a look at the code here the idea is that this is going to run inside the functions runtime locally on the machine so we've got the the test going to start off the same where we're going to um we're going to create a, an object with our json message to trigger the logic app now the key difference here is um this time we're using this um this integration playbook logic app testing but the local NuGet package before when we're using the just the, the standard testing one that worked against Azure and there's a different package for running it locally so we need these two using statements in and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to spin up the workflow um, test host so basically this is a wrapper around funk.exe which will allow you to um, to spin the function runtime up and it's going to load your workflows in. So what we're going to do is um, we create this <coughs> the test host builder and then we pass in the name of the workflows that we want to add. So we can actually have it, um, have it use multiple workflows if we want. So what I'm going to do is that the, um, the workflow test host, the default sort of setup is assuming that my logic apps will live in a folder called logic app that's one level up from um from where i am in the unit test project but you can you know you can sort of specify um more explicit settings if you want to use like a, a more advanced scenario and you want to you know have your tests in a different project again or a different solution there's a few ways you can configure it but the simplest way is making an assumption that you've got a test project here one level up you've got the um, the logic app folder and then you've got these subfolders where you've got one for each logic app which is the standard way you'd have that logic app project so i've said i want my echo um echo workflow and then when we use the test host builder this load and build um what it'll do is the load and build behind the scenes so i'm going to just open a folder up here so you'll see um We've got this temp folder that gets created in the unit test project. So if we just go back here, so you'll see in here, you'll have, when you run the tests, it's going to go and create a, um, like a dynamic folder that it's going to load the workflows in for your um, logic apps that you want to test. So what happens when you do that load and build, it's going to copy over the settings files from your logic app folder. So you've got your connections, your host, your local settings and stuff. And it'll copy over the folders for each workflow that you want to use here as well. So you can see I've got my echo workflow. So that's where in the code I could specify here, I could add multiple workflows and it would actually copy them all over. But at the minute I'm only using the echo one. And then when I do the load and build, now I, I can do the load step and the build step separately. So load will just copy all the folders over ready. Build will actually spin the function runtime up. And you can do them separate steps or you can do them um, as a one-off. So if you do them separately, it would, it would normally be because you want to start manipulating those files for specific um, test scenarios. So we'll see that in a future video where we show how to do the mocking. Um, but in this case, load and build is going to copy the copy it into that dynamic folder, spin the function runtime up, pointing at that folder, which will load up all of my workflows. And then in this using statement for, for my workflow um, test host, that now I'm going to be able to, to know my logic apps are running ready, all my workflows are available, and I can actually use the test manager to be able to... Um, to be able to call the workflows and, and execute them. Now, the big difference here is that um, doing it locally, this Logic App Test Manager, the, it's a different namespace to the one when you do it against the cloud. I've, I've got two classes that are called Logic App Test Manager. One's in the local NuGet 
NuGet package, one's in the, the other package that's for Azure. The one for local, I'll execute against the local runtime, uh, sorry, the local um, Azure, um, sorry, the local function app um, running. And like the management URLs are different, the authentication's different, so that's why we need two separate ones, but actually I've made them just look the same so any test code you write is going to be the same experience, regardless of whether you're testing locally or in Azure. The, on, the only real difference is on the local one, you use this, this test host to run your logic app inside of. So we'll, we'll, create our, um, we'll create our test manager. We'll call the setup method. Um, the, the big difference really is when I do it locally, I don't need those config settings behind the scenes to support my service principle connecting to Azure. So that's the kind of one difference there. Once I've got my test manager, I can then trigger my logic app with a with a post. So I can pass that JSON object in. I can again check my run ID. So it knows I know I've got a run ID for a logic app. I know the logic app's done something with it. I can load the run history. And then exactly the same as in the, the video about testing in the cloud, we can make assertions that the trigger was successful, the response action was successful, the overall run status was good. And we can just check all, all those things that we checked previously on when it was in Azure. We can do the same when it's running locally. So it's the, you know, it's the same experience. Hopefully you'll notice that these this test code looks almost exactly the same as in the previous video. Now, again, we can start making more complicated logic apps and we can start having tests that do more assertions and test different you know different input data test different things are going on but the principle is the same about how you would execute the test you know you write code that'll spin the runtime up you get your manager that uh, your logic app manager that points to the logic app so you can execute it and test what happened and then it's basically just repeat that for all the tests that you need so hopefully the video shows it's really quick and easy to start testing logic apps running locally in the function runtime. Guess I finished the video slightly early there as well. One bit I just missed off the end is let's actually run the test and just show what happens. So I'm going to um, just drag my explorer in in a second when I start the test. So I'm going to just um, run this command, which will be in the help documentation, to run this test that we're looking at and just show what happens. So it'll start running the test and we'll see this temp folder will get created here. So this is where the function runtime starts opening up. And you can see we've got the files in. It's going to run the test. So we'll just give that a second or two to run. You can see that successfully ran my green path test. And also you'll see from a another video we've actually got a log file in so it just shows you the output from the function runtime here so you can see that it um, you know it span up it started doing some stuff and then down the bottom we should see the function gets executed so down here we've got the two functions loaded <clears throat> and then you'd see this the steps showing that it went through each of the execution steps down here so if you have to troubleshoot anything you've got all this login available that you would have saw in the function runtime um, so hopefully that tidies that video up there <clears throat>